Hello, happy Tuesday morning. It's so good to see you guys. So I'm going to just put this video on Class Dojo because there has been a really big problem for my Google Classroom um, friends. What's happened is there was a block, like I thought, but it wasn't on the parent's computer. It's because our county works really hard to keep you guys safe. And so they blocked any unknown um, YouTube videos coming through under Google Classroom using your CCSTN account. So we're working on getting that uh, taken care of. And so until then, um, I'm just gonna post the videos to Class Dojo, okay? So you can see it on your phone. So if you go through Safari, it's fine. And I want to thank Kylie Prime for letting me use her account to see what you guys are seeing. And I won't be using your account <laughs> anymore, but I appreciate that. And Ms. Burks and I and uh, the Department of Education are really working hard on that uh, for Cannon County uh, to fix that. So today we are going to be looking at, um, Class do, um, at Google Classrooms again, because that's the exact same material. So if you ordered a packet or you're doing online, I tried to make everything just as identical as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the shared screen again so you can um, hear me, but you're gonna be able to see um, the screen and what we're supposed to be doing today. So we are gonna go to our Google Classroom only because that's where I have the materials um, most readily available and I'm not like holding up a sheet of paper. So the first thing that I want us to do is to look in the um, third grade reading. I'm gonna scroll down, see that video won't work and I sent messages to all of you to let you know. Let's just go into classwork. It'll be easier. So you have your questions for chapter six. So let's pull those up. Now chapter six was what we um, read yesterday. So if you don't have your book, it's okay. Just listen to the video that I created. So the very first thing that I have written, the first question that I wrote is, what is the purpose of this chapter? And what that means is, why did the author, I don't know how to get my head straight on, okay, whatever, it's, it's all good, it's all good. I love you guys, I miss you so much. Okay, focus, Wilson, focus. All right, what is the purpose of this chapter? What that means is, why do you think the author wrote this chapter? So whenever we are reading this chapter, the first thing that we notice is that we see the pilots, we get to know the lost boys. So what do you think that the author is doing for this chapter? What's his reasoning behind writing this chapter? Tomorrow we'll go over the answers, okay? And you can check yourself. And I'll also check, um, Four of you have turned it in. So when you turn these in, you can just write your answers on here. And if you have the paper copy, just put your um, answers on there and have your mom send me a picture on Class Dojo under messages and I'll look at it. So what is the purpose of this chapter? So I was thinking myself that the purpose of this chapter has to do with letting me know who's on the island. So what I was thinking is, the author wanted to introduce the different groups. Now, um, and let me put on the island. On the island. Now, he did more than introduce the groups, right? He told about individual people, too. So he also told, if you remember, about how um, why Hook is so afraid of that crocodile and how he always gets away from that crocodile. So, you know, what do you think is the purpose of this chapter? Why do you think the author wrote that chapter for you? The next question is, how would you describe each group? 
So on this part, you might want to write pirates. Whoops, not whatever that was. Okay, pirates. And then describe in like a few words, the pirates, maybe six, seven words, a sentence, but it doesn't have to be sentences, okay? Because this is just notes, a description. Um, if you want to um, space it out and draw a picture of the pirates, that's fine with a caption. But there were several groups that the author described. And so you're going to list the groups and describe each group. Okay, why does the crocodile follow Captain Hook? Why is that crocodile after Captain Hook? Now I know the answer and I think it's pretty, it's kind of neat, but it's also a little gross. If you have forgotten, go back and look at the chapter again and find from your text evidence why the crocodile followed Captain Hook. Now, if you don't have the book, just go to yesterday's video on um, the Dojo app and fast forward through everything until it gets to the reading of Peter Pan and listen to that again. Now, what ha why hasn't the cock uh, uh, why hasn't the crocodile caught him? Now him is a pronoun, and the pronoun him is referring to Captain Hook. So why has Captain Hook always gotten away from that crocodile? So um, again, if you're not for sure, listen to the video again where the book is um, read to you, or go back and read the book. And what does Captain Hook plan? He said, I know how to catch those lost boys. I've got a plan. So what was his plan? How was he going to trick those lost boys? I'm going to tell you. If he did to me what he was planning to do to those lost boys or to trick those lost boys, you guys know I would have fallen for it too. I don't know if those lost boys are going to fall for it. We'll find out later. But um, yeah, it was a pretty tricky plan. He knows those lost boys pretty well. So that's what your homework is um, in the reading today. So um, just go ahead and be start, get started on that. And I'll check it over the next couple of days. If you have questions, just if you're on Google Classroom, you can send me a private note or put it on the stream. Either way, if you put it on the stream, everybody can see it. But under classwork and private note, only I can see it. All right, so the next thing um, that we are going to look at, let me see, can I move this? The next thing we're going to look at is our social studies, okay? Which is actually kind of more writing than social studies. They're all connected together. So we're going to go into our social studies app. Just a quick thing, notice I have three classes here. And you will have five classes listed here because of math and science. So if you're only looking in social studies or language arts, you haven't joined all the classes. So make sure I have some of you that's only joined one class. And so you need to make sure you've joined all of your classes. Okay, so in social studies, in classwork because it's just easier to get to if you go to classwork. I have to keep moving everything. <laughs> so in classwork um, for Monday and Tuesday it had um, for you to work on your journal of a quarantine outline. And that's all I've asked you to do is work on that for Monday and Tuesday. But I'm going to go ahead and show you Wednesday. So on Wednesday, you are still not writing your letter. This is how to write a letter. So even though I don't have you doing anything today, I just wanted you to see this. You're not writing today. You're still thinking about that journal entry. And when you get ready to write your letter, See, I have two already who's watched it or turned in, but it says, first watch the video, 
Then look at the example, and I'd forgotten my heading on that example, and that's your date. And notice the heading, greeting, body. Um, remember to write complete sentences. I need to edit that. I wrote complete and write together. And you're closing. The document is my example from my point of view, and everyone's gonna have a different experience. Okay, so the very first thing you should do is watch writing a friendly letter. So let's watch this video. And again, this isn't till Wednesday, but I can tell some of you are gonna go ahead and do it. All right, so we're gonna, whoops. We're gonna look for just a second on this piece. Do you notice, now they forgot to indent hello cousin, but dear Miss Barnhart, hello cousin. So here, instead of dear Miss Barnhart, we're gonna put dear third graders or dear future third graders, whatever you wanna write, because you're writing to third graders who haven't lived through what you're living through now. So that would be like kids that are right now one, two, you know, they're not going to remember that or maybe some that haven't been born. So you're going to write dear third graders or dear future third graders. Okay. At the date, you're going to write whatever date you write this letter. So you might write April 8th, comma, 2020. This is where um, you put your body, all of the sentences. So this is where um, when you worked on your outline, you're going to take those um, ideas in your outline, turn those into sentences like we've been practicing all year, and you're going to write to those kids about um, what you're going through now, and you're going to do it in the order of your outline. Let's finish watching the video. <clears throat> Okay, so that was um, the first thing that I need you to do for your friendly letter. There we go. So that's what I need you to do for your friendly letter. And, um, you know, don't do anything else, okay? Just kind of watch that video. I want you to look at my letter, and here's the example of my letter. And if you have, oh, I did add it in. Yay. If you, um, again, have the paper version instead of online version, you're gonna have the exact same thing that they see here, nothing's changed. So remember, this is my point of view as a teacher and adult, and you will write about your experience as a third grade child. Now, where are you gonna get that information from? From that outline you filled, 
out. So notice I have my heading. I wrote this on March 31st, 2020. I have my greeting, dear third grader. And then I have my body. And remember we indent um, paragraphs. So I indented, this is the body. And I introduced myself. That's the first thing I did. My name is Miss Christy Wilson. And in the year 2020, I taught at Rhett Westside Elementary School in Reedyville. So you would write, for instance, my name is Braxton Miller. And in the year 2020, I was a student at Westside Elementary School in Reedyville, Tennessee. Okay, or my name is Annabelle McPeak. And in the year 2020, I was a student at Westside Elementary School in Reedyville. So use my example like I told you to when you were writing your own page or your own um, uh, letter. And then I told them what was going on and I wrote when. So I wrote the who, the where, and now the when, and then the what. Um, right before our spring break in March, a virus began spreading around the world. I wasn't too concerned. Then, while on spring break, we got word that the school would be postponed. And well, everything was about to change. Okay, so those were some, this gave the kids the who, Christy Wilson, the where, Westside Elementary School, Reedyville, Tennessee, the when, right before spring break in March, the what, a virus began spreading around the world and our school classes were postponed. And then I wrote about everything that was in the outline. Okay, so at first I wrote about the stores. We had to keep everyone six feet apart to slow any spread of the virus accidentally. The first change I noticed was at Walmart and other stores. For some reason, it seemed everyone at, went out and bought all the toilet paper, hand sanitizer, tissues, and so on. Later, it was difficult to get me. One day I looked for flour and it was gone. Some products I was limited, some products I was limited to how much I could buy. All right, so that was the first thing, the store. Then I moved on to socializing and I put another thing. So I introduced it with another reason I was upset or um, another thing or next or then I noticed. So use that transitional word. So another thing that changed was being able to visit my parents. They were at high risk and I did not want to expose them to the virus just in case I had it. I called every day to check on them that they couldn't leave their house. Now I cannot edit this right from here, but do you guys notice I have a run on sentence? I called every day to check on them, comma, but they couldn't leave their house. I have noticed a lot of commas, a lot of errors here, a lot of places that need commas that I didn't write them in. So um, yeah, be careful of that, right? I was in a hurry and I didn't double check. We talked to them outside the door and dropped off the groceries they needed. So, right, that's really different. And that's what we had to do for their birthday this weekend, too. Now I'm talking about the next thing of how um, I couldn't see other people or things that changed um, around my neighborhood. Okay, so that was something else I wanted to write about. So it's a new thing. So it's a new paragraph. The most heartbreaking change is that all my students were at home. What do I need here? A comma. The most heartbreaking change is that all my students were at home, comma, and I couldn't teach them and hug them. I missed those smiling, sweet faces so much. I did learn a lot about technology, though, and that's true. I am much smarter than I was before the quarantine. Apparently, I've learned a lot about technology, but I forgot everything about comments. <laughs> okay, so in my last paragraph, I'm talking about other things. So I talked about how school changed. I talked about how um, visiting people or, other, or activities changed. I talked about the school and notice that went along with the outline. And last, I'm writing other things that changed. 
So I wrote some really great things that happened were how much we all realized how important our friends and family are to us. We missed each other and were and we missed each other and were able to attend game school, church, and social events together. So I think what I needed to put here is we missed each other and wish we were able, right? So I needed to put in wish. So I noticed another error that I need to fix. That's why you always read your writing out loud to somebody so you can see what you messed up on and you can fix it. So we missed each other and wished we were able to attend games, school, churches, and social events together. We read more, played outside more, and spent more time at home. This was an experience that has changed me, and I believe it has made me a better person. And then I wrote sincerely, and notice I capitalized and put a comma because that's the closing. Sincerely, Miss Christy Wilson. So those are the things that you um, need to do. Um, maybe today, if you've already written your rough draft or you want to, after looking at this, you want to go back and rethink your rough draft. So today, all I want you to do is focus on um, my example to you. Note, I know there's, I know there's errors in there. Um, but um, look at my rough, look at my rough draft. There we go. Look at my rough draft letter and see how I've got it set up. Now, when you write your, um, your paper, you're not gonna write heading here. I'm just letting you know that's what that is, okay? Just reminding you. So, all you're gonna do is look at this and watch the video, and you might need to watch the video two to three times to get it just right, and you might wanna look um, at my um, letter and look at maybe how you would like to set your letter up and notice how I changed paragraphs I indented every time I wrote about something new on that outline we created okay so today just finish up the outline if you've already finished it up and you're good with it then all you have to do then is to um, just look at this and look at the video and get in mind of how you want to write tomorrow Okay, so no writing today, all right? Just looking at these. And I might change this to where you're able to make comments um, over to the side. And so if you wanna add a comment, like right here, I'm gonna write, um, actually, I'm good there. Let's write some comments here. And I might write over to the side, you need to edit this. You need to go back and make corrections. And I might make it where you can make notes on my, note, on my paper as well. That will take me a few minutes. So um, anyways, that's it. Now I have not put up the cursive handwriting. For those of you at home under Tuesday, you have some Tuesday cursive handwriting. I did, hey Mason Vogel, um, I um, did not send you like the three days of cursive handwriting um, because I couldn't find those on my computer. I think I copied them from a book, but I will try to send your mama some more of those. Um, if any of you would want um, some paper version of that, I'll try to download it on this Google Classroom so you guys can print off, but I've been really, really busy and I haven't had a lot of time to add anything else uh, to the Google Classroom. Um, trying to think on Tuesdays, oh, I haven't posted the video uh, for today and I'll do that in just a little bit, okay? So the video on the cursive writing is not up here yet. I'm gonna stop share. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, so tomorrow, Wednesday, I am going to put up a code for you. And this code on Class Dojo will let you go into what's called portfolio and share things. It can either be in a video or it can be in a picture. And so I think that's gonna be neat, but I have to post a code and that code only lasts two days. And then I have to post another. So today on the Zoom meeting, we're gonna, yeah, now my hair's all weird again. Nope, wait, oh, okay, 
Let me just do that. I'm so confused. All right. I love you guys. I miss y'all so much. You help me like with everything every day. I am so lost without my babies. Whew, I miss y'all. I just can't even hardly function. I miss you so much. Um, so anyways, today during the Zoom meeting, if we have time, we'll do a practice run on that and see how it works. I don't know. We'll try. All right. Well, I love you guys. I hope this is helpful. And remember, this is only going to be on Class Dojo. It's not going to be on Google Classroom until I can figure out how to fix everything. All right. You guys have a great morning. Um, arms open wide. It's wide as you can. Now we go together. Oh, give me a big hug. Hey. Hey. I got my coffee. I got my coffee, guys. Don't worry about that. All right. I love you. I miss you so much. Give your parents a big hug. Oh, my gosh. Their phone is getting blown up all the time with all of my notices and do this and do that. And they're having to learn all this technology as much as me. And you guys are doing it, too. But they have got a lot on them. So you make sure you give your mamas and daddies and nanas and whoever, papas, whoever is taking care of you right now, okay? You love on them. They need it, okay? All right. See you guys later. Bye-bye. Can't wait to see you in the Zoom meeting. Bye, guys.